हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास देर आर मैनी वर्ड्स इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज दैट आर इजिली कन्फ्यूज बिकॉज दे हैव सिमिलर स्पेलिंग और सिमिलर प्रोनाउंसिएशन बाय डिफरेंट मीनिंग्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी शैल लर्न अबाउट सम कॉमनली कन्फ्यूज वर्ड्स बिगिनिंग विद द लेटर एस The first set of words is sore, S O A R and S O R E. They have similar pronunciation, but their meanings are different. To soar, S O A R, is to rise high. For example, please repeat these sentences after me. His reputation has soared. ever since he became the captain of the school air pollution will soon soar above safety levels and s o r e soar means a painful place on the body as a wound or diseased part now let us use the word s o r e soar in a sentence please repeat this example after me suresh has a sore throat successful and successive successful as an adjective means having achieved the results wanted or hoped for for example please repeat this example after me rohan is a very successful career counselor successive means following immediately one after the other For example please repeat it after me he made successive attempts to clear the civil services examination have a look at these two words suit and s u i t e is pronounced as sweet suit as a noun means a set of clothes and as a verb means to fit or to be acceptable please repeat these examples after me the new hairstyle suits you you look very smart in this beautiful suit Now let us talk about S U I T E suite. It refers to a set of rooms at a hotel or resort. For example, please repeat it after me. The manager booked a luxury suite for his employees in a hotel. let us understand these two words s o w and s e w to sow s o w means to plant or spread seeds in or on the ground for example please repeat this example after me sow the seeds in rows whereas to sow s e w is to make or repair something using a needle and thread for example please repeat these sentences after me can you sew a button on my coat
My mother taught me how to sew. Stationery S T A T I O N A R Y and S T A T I O N E R Y. First, we'll talk about S T A T I O N A R Y. Stationery as an adjective means fixed, not moving. For example, Please repeat this example after me. The train was stationary when I arrived at the railway station. Stationary means materials for writing and for using in an office. For example, paper pens and envelopes for example please repeat this example after me mr bhargwa runs the school stationery store have a look at these two words s t i l e and s t y l e and both are pronounced as style first we'll talk about s t i l e style style is a step or set of steps for climbing over a wall or fence for example please repeat this example after me the dog jumped over the style And S T Y L E style means the manner of writing, speaking, or doing anything, like we say style of writing, walking, etc. For example, please repeat these sentences after me. Velvet pants are out of style. I really liked his style of dancing. In this module, we learnt the usage of words liable to be confused beginning with the letter S. Thank you.